everybody, welcome back to today's video. Tonight we are here in Kansas City, Kansas at the Lakeside Speedway for the ASCS Sprint Week opener. It is so hot, it's so funny. You look around at all these people from the Midwest here and they are not worried about the heat. They say it's a very beautiful day. All of us from the West Coast, we are sweating out of our minds. The humidity is just something we are not used to. Now tonight we are here at the biggest track of the week, the Lakeside Speedway. I actually got a clip of it with my iPhone earlier and it doesn't really do it justice. And I know a lot of you guys from out here, you know, you're used to these bigger racetracks from the Pacific Northwest the biggest track we run is a true 3 8 mile at the Grace Harbor Raceway and we only run there a handful of times a year so we're just not used to these larger racetracks So this is gonna be a little bit of a learning curve today. I'm excited though to get at these high speeds. One thing I wanted to show you, got my Carbon Bell RS7 all shined up for the opener today. And then also coming to our website soon, we just got our new hats from Rocket Designs. We got my logo here on the front with the TH18 and the Holmes. So if you guys are at Sprint Week, you'll be able to pick up one of these. Anyway, we're gonna get tonight started. It's just getting ready to cool down and I believe hot laps are at seven tonight. So we're gonna get started, find out who's in our group and when we're gonna be going out for qualifying. Just got done with qualifying here at Lakeside. You guys probably got some footage. Um, I either got some racing boys or my mom videoed. Unfortunately, the GoPro didn't work. We have so much speed here. My little mount's not even really holding up from Joe's. It's just a little bit old and I'm gonna need to replace it soon. What a treat it is to run here, man. It is huge. You are absolutely flying. You know, I wasn't too good in hot laps, but I finally calmed down, um, worked on, you know, keeping the wheels straight because you can't drive this thing like a short track and go back and forth. It just, um, it really kills speed. Went out there, we even slowed my steering down also with the Pittman arm and uh, ended up 10th quick out of 38 cars. But we ended up third quick in our group, so a great start to our ASCS Sprint Week, you know, laying down a really, really nice lap. Excited to get out here for the heat race. Now we just gotta run inside the top four to transfer tonight's A-Main event.
So we are in here in the RV now. I'm taking a quick break. Tonight has absolutely flown by. It's been hard to kind of vlog them every minute of it. I've been trying to get different shots and, you know, um, obviously focus so much on the racetrack tonight. You know, being at a new track, uh, we really have to focus on what we're doing. And, you know, I need to remember to breathe a little bit on these bigger tracks. You know, you get going so quick on high speeds and sometimes you hold your breath. In the heat race there, I started outside pole and the biggest issue we faced was my engine was not taking off. It was bogging so much and I was trying to use the brake and get on the gas and, you you know, try to get it to take off, but it was just kind of falling on its face there on the starts. So the first start, it was going to be all right, but we made contact, got her into one there, and I was going to be fine. And then um, they threw the yellow. We did the start again, and my engine stumbled even worse. I just couldn't get going. And then they ended up putting a single file. And after that, I tried to slide uh, the leader, and I tried and tried, and we had another yellow. I tried again, but overall, it just didn't work. And you guys probably didn't see a whole lot on the GoPro just because it's still super hooked up tonight. And um, unfortunately, it just gets covered quick. So we're in the show tonight out of 38 Sprint cars, so that feels really, really good with the ASCS Sprint Week at the opener here at the Lakeside Speedway. We're going to be heading out for the A-Main event next. The track still is just really, really hooked up. So it's going to be a different style of racing and something I'm not used to, but that's the biggest thing. We're just here to learn, get some good valuable laps, and try to come out with the best result possible. So the A-Main event will probably be up next. Heading out for tonight's ASCS Sprint Week opener at Lakeside. Um, we're rolling off 10, so we're in a good spot out of a 20 car field. You know, I think um, right now it's all about learning, going out there and just working on perfecting different lines. I think a crossover line in one and two is really good because it's just gotten so far around the top. And then three and four, you can really run in multiple different places. I think it's just about keeping momentum up. So a lot of fast guys in front of us um, rolling off a fifth row outside. We're just gonna try to follow one of them, see what we can do. Um, work on dirty air because there's gonna be a lot of dirty air out there behind a lot of guys. And with a hooked up racetrack, you know, we're gonna have to move around. So. Let's head out, have some fun, and um, you know, learn something and try to move to the front.
just got done with the A main event here at Lakeside. Um, a demanding track, man. A few bumps entering three, but other than that, um, glass smooth, a great surface here by the Speedway. And we ran one of the best races I've had. You know, like I talked about, this was going to be a big week for us. And started 10th, ended up running 7th. I think really the only guy that passed us was Seth Bergman. I think he started right behind us. He ended up running 4th. So um, 25 laps nonstop. We just had to do everything in our power just to run a good race. I think JJ Hickel brought it home. That's awesome for him, a Northwest guy. But um, for us, man, this feels like an awesome finish. You know, I'm almost a top five. Everyone in front of us is just outstanding drivers that have been doing it for a while. So for us, you know, we're getting started. We're kind of figuring this out. Um, it just feels really, really good. So just got to thank the crew for a great car. Um, I just worked on blasting the top all 25 laps. Never really got off of that because I just felt like that was the best way around, at least for me. So um, felt like we maybe could have got six, but just some hung it in there. Got a little tired at the end, but for the most part, my stamina was good. So we're going to load up and head to night number two. Night number one of the ASCS Sprint Week has come to a close. One of the nights I was probably more worried about, I mean, every single night's gonna be tough because of the challenges that we're gonna face, but this place being a bigger racetrack, something I'm not used to, I'm completely out of my element, and I feel like we adapted well, especially there in the A-Main event. To start 10th and not back up and actually advance a few spots, just two outside of the top five, and to see the cars that were ahead of us, you know, I'm really, really proud of our team effort and how we were able to run all 25 laps. There is plenty of things that we are gonna improve on as a team, I'm going to as a driver, and also I gotta apologize, I'm not sure what tonight's video really looks like, probably a little choppy. I just wasn't able to video as much as I wanted to. This uh, format and kinda how they do ASCS, you know, we wait till later in the day because since it is a weekday show, you know, they kinda wait later so people can get off work, and the second we go, it's go time. I mean, you know, hot laps, qualifying, heat races, B main, C main, all that's real quick, and then right into the feature. So we're gonna do our best to document everything over these next five nights, but um, a great start to it. Like I said, I know we're gonna face many challenges over these next five uh, nights, but I'm really excited to get to Caney Valley, a little boring that I think will be kind of similar to what we got back home. Now, real quick, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. We have lots of exciting content coming out soon. Want to give a huge shout out to Pit Stop USA, ABC Powder Coating, North Metford Les Schwab, Onsite Screeners, Swindell Speed Lab, Durango RV, Ferguson Waterworks, Knife River. Over here on the side, we got Lafarge North America, OMA KTM, QRC Cards, Fast 4 Media, as well as so many of you guys that support the channel and my crew, my mom and dad, Carly, my crew chief, Roger Henderson. I am so thankful for the opportunity, and like we said, we are living the dream. Even though we are tired, miserable in the heat, but we are truly living the dream and having fun over this week. Five nights to go, we had to Caney, Kansas at the Caney Valley Speedway for night number two, and it's only gonna get more exciting as we go. See y'all in the next one, deuces.